Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be giving you more tips and tricks how to grow your YouTube channel. So let's get into the video. Please make sure to watch till the end because it's going to have a lot of good information which can help you grow out your channel. And let's get into it. So the first thing is personality. So personality, you might not know what it means. I mean by personality, you can't just go like, you can't just go like, hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be playing something like, no, you can't just go like that. You have to go like, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing this. You have to have your voice up, like, make your voice better. Can't just go like, hey guys, welcome back. No, you're not supposed to do that. So yeah, that's the first thing. And the second thing is engage, engagement with your fans. Engagement with your fans is helps your channel a lot. If you like your fans and you respond to their comments, you heart their comments, you like them. I'm not saying you do that to all your comments, but I'm saying like you do it to most of them. If you have way too much, do it to like pretty much a lot. And spend at least 15 minutes engaging with your fans. That will help you grow out your channel and w ask them is there any problems in the video that they can fix on the next video that can help you make your channel better and organized now the third thing is editing now editing is something oh sorry my mic was here okay editing was something is something that it's a huge i don't know what it i know what it is but i can't explain it editing is something which makes a huge, huge difference on your channel. Because if you edit your videos and put more time into it, then people are gonna start to like your videos. And if you post like once a day or twice a day, that's I think what I do because I don't have much stuff to do, so I'm not busy. So yeah, that's what I do. Now editing is, I usually use Adobe Premiere Pro which is for money, but I got it for free. And I used to use VideoPad like, I don't know, about like 10 days ago, but now I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Guys, it doesn't matter about the editing software. It matters about your skills. Even if I was on VideoPad and I knew how to edit on VideoPad better than Adobe Premiere Pro, I would be better at VideoPad and it would have much better quality and stuff. And but this video obviously it's edited by Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm getting used to it. It has a lot more features. And anyways, let's get on to the fourth thing I believe. I don't know, I think it's the fifth. So yeah, let's get on to it. So the fifth or the fourth thing is your mic quality. I know I talked about this before, but I'm saying this again that if you have a mic which is maximally ten dollars it can still work but like you need to adjust your mic and the mic settings the mic I'm using is about twenty five dollars or twenty yeah I don't I don't have like those blue yeti thingies which are very powerful no I don't have those and guys I'm getting a webcam soon so yeah that's the breaking news and also <sighs> I don't know why I wrote that like that, but so the f sixth thing I believe, or the fifth thing, would be video tags. Now, video tags are something very important. Not very important. They're just like keywords, so people can search up your videos. So, video tags. If you go on your channel and you press any video you made, you scroll a little down and you see tags. You can type anything, whatever your channel is going on. Like if you, if it, your content is about something like Roblox content, 
just type in Roblox if it's like a quality content, which I suggest everybody should make quality content. Their content should be good, that people like. Now the Arsenal VIP servers I post, people like them. That's why I got like 600 views in one of them. So yeah, that's what's all about the video tags. And they just don't help all of it, but it helps a little. Well, maybe even much more than a little, but I don't know. So yeah, the I believe the seventh or the sixth, I don't know what I'm on, but I'll have to check on the video later. That is your title. I know th I've talked about this before many, many times. Well, maybe not that much, but yeah. I made another video like a long time ago about another YouTube channel. So yeah, N yeah, this one is titles. So if you want to make a good title, so if you have a video which is all lowercase letters saying playing some Roblox with my friends, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to click on that. Because that would just seem boring. And especially the videos that are long. Saying playing Roblox for like 20 minutes. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I can just click on it and then click away. Because I'm not going to watch that whole thing. Now it's kind of funny. Uh, I used to do that too. I used to type in like playing Roblox. And it used to be like 44 minutes or maybe even 2 hours. I just need to record and whatever. But you shouldn't do that. You should actually make how-to videos. Only make gaming videos when you have, like, up to 500 subscribers. Unless it's, like, a Fortnite montage or something. Or, like, compilations. I don't know. But, like, don't make, like, playing this in lower cases. Make some words capital and some words not capital. Or just make them all capital. Just like my free Arsenal servers. And... That's pretty much all the tips I have to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.